And now, your selection. Meet the stars. Mystic River is a story about... Hey, Divine. Three kids that grew up together. What you looking at? The old neighborhood. There are places that make us who we are. Save! I used to play on this street when I was a kid. Really? Their lives were changed dramatically when um, one of the kids was abducted by uh, these guys pretending to be cops and, and taken away. Twenty years later, one of them's now a cop, one of them's lost his daughter to a brutal murder, and one of them's suspected of that murder. And the question is, who did it? Well, the story d deals with, uh, you know, a kind of unimaginable pain. So, uh, one of the things that you, did I, that I draw on with these things is, is um, the writing and the other actors. He sent my daughter in there! He sent my daughter in there! Oh, God! All of us, as a group, and in a lot of ways kind of spearheaded by Sean, uh, we stopped and went, wow, uh, we're not having any rehearsal? I mean, maybe we need to you know, rehearse a little amongst ourselves. So completely with uh, Clint's blessing, we uh, would get together at night uh, in somebody's hotel room, and uh, we would read through the script. Black, come on. Remember, it's the little things. It's this neighborhood kid, Brendan Harris, coming to start this morning, looking for Katie like he was expecting to see her. They barely knew each other. Are you sure? I mean, could they have been dating? <laughs> no. What makes you so sure? Sean, you gonna grill me? My father knows. I think we're all pretty similar in the way we work. You know, you have to hold back that stuff until you do it on the day, and, and you don't want to spend it uh, too early. No idea how half a pint of blood got in the trunk of your car, huh? None. This is not the way you want to go, Dave. Every person is just really uh, just top flight, and um, and I've been lucky that way before. I think in Unforgiven, I said. And, and, and some other, few other films I can think of where every person really pulled their weight. My own little daughter, and I can't even cry for her. Jimmy. You're crying now. I just want to hug him and look at him. I think with, the, with these things, usually it's, you, it's on that first read, you have a kind of, a, an, an instinct about it, and you have a feeling that you can bring something to it, and that it's, you know, it was a great, uh, uh, you know, on the surface part, it was a great story. I know in my soul I contributed to your death, but I don't know how. This was an opportunity to do something that's almost, at, at, the, at this moment in time, kind of a throwback to um, a different style of filmmaking. How about you tell us what really happened Saturday night, Mr. Boyle? And why's your wife acting like she's afraid of you, huh? It's all uh, real, and the actors are all, they all have, scenes that are of importance to, to the story and they all have to interact with one another. It's just good old-fashioned ensemble acting, very rarely seen these days. We watched him 